Uh, let's start with a significant update to one of the best teams in the entire country as Indiana starting quarterback Curtis Rourke is officially out indefinitely because of that thumb injury that we saw. Um, Tom, you know, decided to stir up the locker room controversy. I correctly identifying that Taven Jackson did a good job in the second half. Taven Jackson will be the starting quarterback when they play against Washington coming up in week nine. Now, when we get Rourke back, we do not know, but he's expected to return. After the game, Kurt Signetti said he was, quote, optimistic um, from whatever the outlook might be, given the thumb hits the helmet, nail comes off. Um, da Danny, I'm going to throw this one to you again, the, the the quarterback here. As you're looking at Curtis Rourke, thumb injury, throwing hand, and, and the schedule ahead, which includes Michigan, off week, Ohio State, a little bit later on in the season. What, what's your outlook for Indiana's offense and for Curtis Rourke in terms of his future uh, with the Hoosiers? I'm going to say when you're surrounded by a team and a culture like you are at Indiana and that Kirk Zanetti is very quickly built, I'm not that concerned about it for the next two weeks, possibly three. But if you want to consider this team as somebody who can upset Ohio State, which with Curtis Rourke, I would say that's not crazy talk. Right. I would still pick Ohio State. They'll probably be, you know, heavy favorite in that game. But I just, this team is really executing on, you know, in every facet of the game, and he's putting his players in a position to succeed. I think that will continue regardless of who the quarterback is. The thumb injury is interesting, though, because, you know, how serious is it? You know, that's a very common, like, I broke this finger, this one. See this this one right here? This ring oh. finger, so that's a little crooked. Um, hitting, you know, throwing and hitting after I threw a ball, hit a helmet and broke the finger. And, uh, you know, missed about a month. But when I came back, it almost actually like, I, they said you could put a pin in it and straighten it out or it'll just be a little disformed forever and you'll be back probably faster. I was like, well, I don't care what it looks like. Just give me back. And it actually gave me a little bit of a better uh, grip on the football. But I the pain was kind of an irritant for a couple weeks and then it sort of subsided. Your thumb sort of, because it's the only thing on the bottom side of the ball, like that handles that side of it, it does concern me a little bit more because, I mean, just look at the numbers. It's a numbers game. You know, you have four. You can kind of let off pressure with one of the other fingers on your four. But when it's the one side, it concerns me a little bit. So I'll be curious to see what the severity of this is and how it could potentially impact him. We saw Cam Rising. I thought maybe the glove would be the solution for him. Clearly it wasn't. And these are completely different injuries. We don't even – do we still even know what Cam Rising's was specifically? But it does yeah. – What's that? Yes. Death. 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 But it does, it does start to concern me for how long is he out and, you know, what impact it could have on him and how quickly he comes back. Obviously, we all hope it's as minor as possible. Maybe it's a sprain and he comes back in a couple of weeks and it's no big deal. Um, but overall, I mean, I, I'm not worried about Indiana for the next couple of weeks because of what we've seen out of them being one of the big, most dominant teams in the country. I'm a little worried about them the next couple of weeks we we mentioned that Taven Jackson came in and, and played well in relief but that game was practically over by halftime yeah. Nebraska had been beaten down and Indiana just piled on him a little bit further going into the week as a starter against Washington like you know Taven Jackson's been there for a few years Taven Jackson got a shot to be the starter last year as a freshman lost the gig to Brendan Forsby primarily because threw five interceptions so he had two touchdowns to five interceptions he was too turnover prone so i i have enough faith in this indiana team at home against washington where i still think they should win even with Aben jackson in there but i think that you are much more confident in this team with curtis rourke mm -hmm. than Aben jackson for there's sure a, there's a yeah. reason they went in the portal to get curtis rourke because they wanted that kind of experienced quarterback for these kind of moments. Taven Jackson doesn't have nearly the kind of experience. He's more prone to making stupid young quarterback mistakes. And if you're Indiana, like you are absolutely steamrolling teams, but you haven't really had a situation where you've been behind the eight ball yet. They haven't been behind, right? Man, right. <clears throat> about how Nebraska last week was their biggest test of the season, and they, they passed that with flying colors. I think this week 
with a backup QB is the first actual test of the season, especially coming off of that huge win. I, I kind of think, like, depending on the length of, of the injury, um, it's not so much this weekend. I think it's more like after everybody has seen how the offense changes with Taven and they get a crack at it. You know, Michigan State had a really good plan for Iowa. Uh, like, Michigan will probably have a good plan for this if he's not back, you know, by that game. I, I'm pretty confident Indiana will have a decent plan for him to play to his strength, to, to be able to like to run enough stuff, you know, that that they can get the dub. I mean, like Washington's not – they're not as bad as I thought they were this season. Like they're probably – they could probably make a bowl, I think. Um, but after everybody sees what you're running, then what? Right? right? Like how many counters do you have? How long is work really going to be out? At all, I mean, you know, whether it's uh, whether it's Justice Ellison, whether it's Lawton, obviously we knew Surratt, um, Cooper, like there's all of these skill position players have exceeded my expectations. None of these skill position players were on any of my like watch right. lists coming into the season for somebody that was going to be super dynamic, but they have all elevated and the actual performance out there has been like, man, that guy's a player, man, that guy's a player. Like they, I think that there's enough there that it wasn't just Curtis Rourke, you know, shouldering everything and playing hero ball. They seem to operate within a system. Uh, I will give them a good, a decent outlook there. But I, <clears throat> I echo that notion that Washington is good enough that this could get dicey. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I think Indiana will win, but Washington played seven games in a row, and that seventh game was getting stuffed into a locker at Iowa. They've had an off week to try to get healthy, to try to recoup, do some self scouting. Um, you know, the, the Huskies are gonna, the Huskies are gonna be tough, but uh, but I think Indiana absolutely. I mean, rip them through the filter. They've they no, nobody plays to the whistle like Indiana. That's uh, that's a group that's built to do this kind of thing. Also, Will Rogers is not going to throw three picks. Like as bad as it gets, I just don't. I I kind of trust him not to have that type of game. He was up over you know and against Iowa had his hands full and you know he was bad but it wasn't going to like cost you the game it wasn't really the reason they lost the game 